few years ago, Mount Pendeli, one of the last patches of green near the Greek capital, went up in flames. Dimitri Stegiou, mayor of the region, is on his way to where it all began. No question of letting it ever happen again. These days, he's working hard so that the next place can be stopped immediately. Our land is worth a lot. Construction companies are putting a lot of pressure on us to let them build houses up here. It's the government's fault. After the fires, they said it was legal to build. But I'm going to fight them and the monastery if they don't let us replant the trees that have burnt down. A few years back, the monastery was nestled in the forest. Now it's at the heart of a controversy. The church is pushing for the construction of a luxury hotel to further religious tourism in the region, which could be interpreted as the church trying to profit from this tragedy. The keeper of the monastery does not want us to enter or speak to the monks to ask them about the project. That's none of your business. This is a monastery. You're a civilian. The 2007 fires destroyed close to 6% of Greece's forests and the government is having a hard time enforcing the reforestation law. This is made even more difficult by the fact that Greece has yet to adopt the modern property register, making it a playground for speculators. And since the church is Greece's biggest landowner, people are pointing the finger. You have to separate church and state. It's already difficult to control what citizens are doing, so imagine keeping an eye on the church. Plus, no real measure to replant trees nor a fire prevention plan have been put in place as of today. Villas are springing up overnight, and instead of tearing them down, they're legalized. Ten years ago, Pendeli was a thriving forest. Today, it's the new Beverly Hills. And every day, the biggest villas take a little more land. Neighbors are afraid Athens will soon be suffocating and concrete. I can't sleep anymore because of these high winds. I'm afraid to see everything burn down again and new houses being built. Right now, less than 500 square meters of land cost over a million euros in this area. Throughout the summer, residents here will stay on high alert. They have asked the government to fight on two fronts. Above all, to help protect the land and its people from new fires, but also to protect them from the interests of eager speculators.